Hey, what's up, YouTube? Bo Art Take over here back with another action figure review. Today, we have the 2020 event exclusive Storm Collectibles Kazuya from Tekken 7. I'm a fan of Tekken. I've been a fan of them since their first games they came out with. I think it was for PS1 or something. So I'm probably going to collect all of the figures that they released from this line. There are a couple issues, you know, some limitations, but we're going to cover all of that. For his height, he stands about seven and three quarters, so he, he is on the tall side. Taking a look at what this guy looks like up close, he's got a lot of detail, lots of sculpt work, lots of scarring. He's got a lot of dirt applications throughout his skin. See the gloves, they look pretty good. That blue and gold right there looks like maybe it's a little purple in there too. Red on this side, that looks good too. Taking a look at the feet. It's the side profile back muscles look good got some more scarring some more dirt yeah visually man this guy looks pretty good does have red eyes it's a little difficult to see he also has an eye in the middle of his forehead got a little bit of gloss on that if they gave his hair more of a frosty type of look that would have looked pretty good and his eyes like a little more brighter that would have looked nice <laughs> articulation he's got a long barbell type of joint he can get his head to move forward about about that much move up and it's all still pretty stiff so i'm working with that side to side movement none really at the head but you do get some at the neck of course you got your full rotation you get his arms to go up about about that high go all the way around ball going into a soccer for the shoulders you can get a shift motion going forward about that much shift it back about that much. Got a bicep rotation. Bows can go in about about that much. All hinge for the wrist. Go down about that much. Go up about that much. Torso can go forward about that much using both of those joints. Does leave it pretty gappy in the back. And you also want to be mindful of these this clothes piece right here. Like it occasionally likes to slip right under his uh, skin. So be mindful of that. That will happen quite a few times. You can go back a good amount. So that's all right. Side to side motion. Rotate at the top and bottom. So we got your full splits. Separate piece for the belt. And this top part rotates. Legs can go up about that much both of his legs actually on my copies likes to pop out a lot so be mindful about that it might happen to yours knees can go in about that much so that's not bad rotation this is where it gets a little limited he doesn't have much of a a rocker so because this part is hard so hard plastic so that kind of sucks and he can't really his foot can't really go up that much either and it only goes down about that much. And then you have your toe hinge. Trying to get both of the feet flush and then have them stand, it's going to be kind of difficult. Accessories, he's got two fist hands, dial post hands, two splayed out hands. It's a really tight fit for the pegs, but the cuffs are actually floating. So that's pretty good. You can hide the gaps. Default relaxed head, gelling face, which looks slightly off. And you have the gritting teeth head. And the two additional heads, they kind of look a little funny around the cheekbone to mouth. Uh, region it kind of reminds me of that movie sleepwalkers like when the guy was getting ready to turn into a cat or something electric effect which pegs around the wrist around this part right here looks nice you have your two beam and impact effects there's a little port right there you just plug it in just like that get it nice and snug in there it fits pretty good does it not support its own weight it will fall over, which kind of sucks. The effect piece doesn't exactly put into his head or anything, and it's also warped. Very disappointing. High comparisons we have next to two other Storm collectibles. We have them next to the Mortal Kombat Nob Sabat and the Tekken Hihachi Mishima. Next, we have them next to the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Donatello figure and the McFarlane Inferno figure. Next, we have them next to the SH Figure Wars Ken Masters figure and the Kotobukiya Zero Model Kit. And lastly, here we have them next to the Mafex Cyclops figure and the Marvel Legends Shang Chi. Can get him into some pretty cool poses. His problem, though, mainly lies in the fact that he doesn't have good balance in with his feet which does suck and he kind of pops out a little bit too. I think I'd rather have him pop out, you know, than just break all together. Other than that, yeah, this guy's pretty good. He's got some decent articulation. Perhaps if I recommend this guy, I would. He, uh, I bought him on Bluefin, you know, he was on sale. I'm not sure if he's still going to be on sale 
by the time you get this video. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for more content. Until then, peace.